So thank you for very much. Thank you very much for joining us today. While we missed the opportunity to meet uh, in person, we hope to be back to normal possibly next year. And again, we just really appreciate you being willing to tune in virtually. So just a few quick words from me. The Ohio Clean Marinas program um, is a voluntary certification-based environmental stewardship program for marinas, marine reta retailers, yacht and boat clubs across Ohio. Of the nearly 375 marinas in Ohio, 82 are certified clean marinas, so we're very proud of that. And together with implementing over 2,500 environmental best practices to improve air and water quality. So the program has tackled topics from aquatic invasive species to marine debris, stormwater to green infrastructure, and now boat wash, wastewater, and strives to be a go-to resource for the marina industry and natural resource partners for education on environmental best practices in Ohio and across the Great Lakes. So that's all from me. I'm gonna pass it on to my colleague, Heather Sheets, to talk a, a little bit more before we uh, get to the directors. Thank you. Hi everyone. I am only gonna put this on briefly because I have to compete for internet, but hello. Um, the Ohio Clean Marinas program is a partnership initiative between Ohio Sea Grant and the Ohio Department of Natural Resources through both the Department of, or the Division of Parks and Watercraft and the Office of Coastal Management. I wanted to just take this opportunity to recognize our team. Um, Sarah Orlando uh, with Ohio Sea Grant is our program manager. She's our fearless leader um, focusing on certifying marinas and educating um, primarily boaters and marina owners in the Lake Erie watershed. Um, I am Heather Sheets. I'm with ODNR Division of Parks and Watercraft. Um, as the program coordinator, I focus on certifying marinas um, and educating and outreach um, with the marina owners as well as boaters within the Ohio River watershed. And then Paul Dravillis, who you just saw, um, is also with the Ohio uh, Department of Natural Resources, Parks and Watercraft um, as our program administrator. So he acts as our glue and our social media guru to support uh, the program statewide. So we are pleased to have our fantastic partners here today to recognize our new 2020 Platinum Certified Marina and um, our first Marina of the Year. Uh, first off, we are honored to have Dr. Chris Winslow. Uh, he is Director of Ohio Sea Grant College Program and OSU Stone Laboratory. Thank you, Heather. Can, can you hear my audio? Yep, sounds good. Great. I'm not competing with bandwidth, but I might be competing with a dog in the background, so I apologize. Uh, first, thank you to Heather, Paul, and Sarah for, for organizing this event. This is fantastic. Um, I also do want to thank our amazing DNR leadership for, for their efforts in this, and just happy to see uh, virtually our Marina friends uh, joining us today. Uh, just a little bit more background on Ohio Sea Grant. Um, basically, the program exists to provide research education, so formal education, and outreach, which we refer to as informal education, stuff that doesn't happen in the classroom, um, for Ohio's coastal stakeholders. So basically it's a NOAA-funded program, so we get support from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration to really do research efforts and then the education, whether formally or informally, on the, on the background. And I just want to say the Ohio Clean Marines Program, uh, since 05, 2005, has been a great example. One of our shining beacons example of this research education and outreach. Paul touched on some of them earlier, you know, the research that's been done with aquatic invasive species, um, you know, the clean drain dry program on moving vessels around the state of Ohio and, and, and the impacts on that and um, power washing discussion that, that Paul also, also mentioned, you know, what happens to the water that comes off the boat after we power wash, you know, every spring or fall. Um, and then the outreach, there's been just amazing work through the Clean Marina program on um, 
potential runoff sources from marinas of nutrients, um, also the recycling of, of shrink wrap that's put on the vessels. So again, I, I can't say enough on how the Ohio um, Clean Marinas program is just an example of, of coupling research um, and education. Um, I would say the Ohio Clean Marinas is also a key example of the need for strong partnerships and, and leveraging. The work that's been done clearly could not have been done without the partnership between Sea Grant and, um, and the DNR and also the leveraging of resources. So not only um, staff time, but, but investments in, in these programs. Um, also, this partnership needed all players involved. They all played an integral role in the development of the program, um, the execution of the program. And what's often lost is the sustainability of the program. I mean, to say it's been around since 05 is not a, not a trivial thing. Um, and so the this, this sustainment of that program. Um, in addition to the core partners, uh, so the DNR and Ohio Sea Grant, uh, this group pulled together an initial advisory board that helped develop the certification checklist that, that you see today. Um, I'd like to add that this is a model that's been used in, in the agricultural community. I know Sarah Orlando has been tapped to, to meet with folks that are trying to build a similar certification program for agriculture and, and for producers and farmers across the state. So it is a model that's not only been seen across the Great Lakes in the marine industry, on our Atlantic and Pacific coast, but it's, it's leaking into other, other sectors. Um, and then the testament to, to the success of the program is now the tiered certification program that, that exists. It's amazing to see the, the passion from the marina owners um, and, and your engagement saying that, you know, the checklist you had before is great, but what else can I do and, and how can I push this, this forward? So Ohio Sea Grant is clearly pleased to, to be in support of this joint program. Um, and is happy to be one of the participants. Um, we've enjoyed working with, with our partners to advance environmental best management practices in our marina. Um, another thing that, that we've, we lose sight of sometimes, but is critically important, is the connection between the stakeholders and the state agencies. Um, so this Clean Marina program has been a great conduit to have candid and, 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 and great conversations with marina owners and, and lake residents and make those connections between uh, the stakeholders and the agencies. Clearly, the recreational boating industry is key economic driver in the state. And so anything we can do to, to maintain that industry, um, but also protect our resources is, is critical. So I, I can't thank all of you that are on the call enough and the, and the staff that organized this meeting today for all that you're doing to protect and restore Ohio's uh, water resources. So that's all I had, but again, thank you, Heather, Paul, and, and, and Sarah for pulling this together. And, and I'm excited to be a part of the event today. Awesome, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Winslow. Um, next up, we are honored to have uh, Direct Director Mary Mertz from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. Thanks, Heather, thanks so much. So good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the fifth annual Ohio Marina Conference. So I'm Mary Mertz, Director of the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, and really happy to be here today. Um, but I'd be remiss if I didn't start off by thanking Sarah and Heather and Paul for pulling this together. I think you guys have done a great job and you have a great lineup for the afternoon, so thank you. So right now, the most important thing I want to do is offer my most sincere congratulations to each and every one of the 82 certified clean marinas in Ohio. So this includes the new marinas that are celebrating their new status today and all those veteran marinas who are dedicated to the program, have achieved recertification, maybe a different tier. So if, if there's nothing else I, I accomplish in these comments, I wanna congratulate you and thank you and um, say we need to include, uh, increase our numbers, right? 82, how do, we, how do we up that and get even more folks involved in this important endeavor? I mean, we're incredibly proud of the work that, that you all do in this program. I mean, your partnership with us in protecting our lakes and waterways through the adoption of best management practices really goes a long way. And, um, Proud of what you do. Hope we can do more to support you in those efforts and, and get some more marinas on board. So thank you so very much for that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here with people who love the water so much. Um, it's something I'm passionate about and have been for many years. I, I grew up sailing and, and fishing with my dad on Ohio's inland lakes and, and spent a lot of time doing that and still continue to sail. And um, 
bring my 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 daughters along. They are they are grown now, but I think uh, after after a long time, we've instilled that love in them. Although I'm I'm trying to think. I think the last time we used one of the marinas up on Lake Erie, I brought my youngest uh, fishing this past spring, and we did um, limit out on walleye pretty quickly. It was it was a great morning. It was only a morning though, because there's a lot of walleye out there. So we had a good time um, going out of that marina up on Lake Erie. So, um, but my love of the water has continued to grow throughout my years in government. And I am especially pleased to be part of Governor DeWine's initiative that we refer to as H2 Ohio. And I hope everybody on this call has heard about this program. If you haven't, I'm just gonna give you sort of the one minute nutshell on it. So this is an effort that the Ohio Department of Natural Resources is a partner in, Ohio EPA, and the Ohio Department of Agriculture. And we coordinate and collaborate and try to prevent duplication and try to keep each other focused on what's most important. And it, it's all about water quality in Ohio. We're, we're, we're leading with efforts on Lake Erie. How do we clean up the harmful algal blooms, make it safe and, and wonderful for drinking and recreation and all the other purposes uh, for clean water on Lake Erie. But we're also gonna be moving to um, a focus on the Ohio River Basin as well. But you know, the Department of Agriculture, not surprisingly, their focus here is, is working with farmers on best management practices to reduce the phosphorus flow into the lake and, and nitrogen as well. Ohio EPA is involved in a number of water infrastructure projects across the entire state that are sure to make a difference. At, at ODNR, we've really been focused on maybe green infrastructure or natural infrastructure. So we've really been focused on the wetlands into this. How do you use natural infrastructure to um, filter and reduce the phosphorus and nitrogen loading, any, any sort of nutrient loading? Um, you know, and at the same time, we have those benefits of it being a, a carbon sink. So there's carbon sequestration, there's the wildlife habitat we're developing. But in the last uh, year and a half, we've invested over $50 million in those wetlands programs. And we have requested from the state legislature another 50 million to do that over the next biennium. And, and we're confident that we can um, get the job done and make a, a real difference in keeping our lakes and waterways cleaner and more accessible for all those great recreational purposes. Um, so overall, I, I, the uh, H Ohio request in the upcoming budget is closer to 250 million if you include the agriculture and EPA elements as well. So um, it's one that we've been dedicated to. It's a, a purpose we've been dedicated to. And I think we're really trying to put our money behind it and make those needed investments to keep our waterways beautiful. And I, I hope in the end that benefits all of you and all of your customers and all of the people that enjoy Ohio's beautiful waterways. So we're, we're excited um, to see what will happen in the years to come. So spending time outdoors, especially on Ohio's lakes and rivers became more important than ever in 2020, right? People couldn't go to the movies or the shopping malls or all those indoor places. And, and so a lot of folks rediscovered the outdoors. And we saw um, an increase in visitors at all our outdoor spaces, but, but let me talk, um, I'm gonna throw out a few numbers specifically on boating. So um, we did see a pretty big increase in boating registrations and renewals just in 2020. So typically, um, you know, the registration renewals every three years, but in a given year, we have 180 to 190,000 registrations and renewals. So by the end of 2020, we had um, closer to 220,000. So that is a, a big increase as people rediscovered the outdoors and um, are spending time on our, our waters. So, um, so as you know, that would just be a third of the registrations. So um, we're in the neighborhood of close to 600,000 registered vessels in Ohio in 2020. So that's a great number. And I, I know those folks are enjoying it. But that's only part of the story. You know, so, so paddle sports, kayaking and canoeing have seen a huge spike in the past several years. Um, we're, we're excited people getting out there trying different sorts of paddle sports. Um, I think as they learn more about the water and get more comfortable with the water, they may move on to other types of boating as well. 
um, I'm just looking forward to sort of a renaissance in, in, in the water economy and, and people enjoying everything that's out there. And it's, it's numbers like these that truly show how important your work is. You're there to support and get people out there and to do so in a sustainable manner. And, and thank you for that. So I'll, I'll wrap up just by giving a big thank you to all of you who are on this conference today. Your passion for Ohio's waters is inspiring. Um, and I, along with everyone else who enjoy Ohio's lakes and rivers, appreciate the work you do. Um, special thanks to Chris and the Ohio Sea Grant team. Um, we all know how spectacular he is. Uh, Chris Winslow is also an important part of our H2 Ohio effort. Um, leading a team of folks who are evaluating what we do. We want to be held accountable and know that the work that we are doing and the tax dollars we're spending are actually making a difference in our waterways. And so he's leading um, an out, uh, outside team of, of experts uh, from Ohio's higher education institutions that are measuring what we do. And they're going to tell us when we get it wrong and hopefully when we get it right as well. So um, it's just a, one more way that we partner with Ohio Sea Grant and, and, and Dr. Winslow. So um, I think there's a great group of speakers lined up for you today. So I hope you enjoy the afternoon, that you learn a lot and get some new ideas on how to even better participate in the program this year, and that you continue to be great supporters and advocates for Ohio's waters. So thank you so much for your time. Um, let you get on to the important business at hand. But again, the most important thing today, congratulations to every one of you participating. It is truly appreciated and I think it really makes a difference. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you, thanks. Director Mertz and hello everyone. Um, my name is Sarah Orlando. I'm the program manager for the Ohio Clean Marinas program. Uh, I apologize for not being on as much. I'm uh, with my newborn son here, uh, about two months old, and I'll be back to work here soon and looking forward to uh, interacting with all of you very soon. Um, so I want to say thank you to Director Mertz and thank you to Director Winslow um, for their comments, for taking the time to address all of us today um, and for their partnership. Uh, the Ohio Clean Marinas Program is truly a collaboration between the university partner, Ohio Sea Grant, the agency partner, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, and our industry partner, the Lake Erie Marine Trades Association and the Boating Association of Ohio. And so um, we have, I feel, uh, been the longest running Ohio Clean Marinas program in the Great Lakes uh, sustainably with a, without a break in service to our marinas um, thanks to our active partnership that we have in support of, um, again, industry, agency, and university. Uh, so at this time, I am pleased uh, to be uh, giving some personal attention to our two awardees that we have today um, for our Ohio Clean Marinas Award Ceremony. Again, I know those marinas on the call, we really enjoy uh, being in person with you. We miss it um, and we promise we will get back to it <laughs> at some point, uh, but we do appreciate you taking the time and working through technology to be with us virtually today. And if you're watching the recording for taking the time to do so as well. Uh, first, I want to present the award to our um, our one certified clean marina that we have from 2020. It is a platinum certified clean marina. Um, so in 2020, Mentor Harbor Yachting Club now joins the ranks of over 80 marinas across the state of Ohio certified as an Ohio clean marina. Mentor Harbor Yachting Club not only reached certification status um, in their first try, but they achieved platinum tier status. Um, and if you if you aren't familiar, uh, Heather may mention some of our tiers on our um, on a session that we have Thursday afternoon. But we have a base, a gold, and a platinum level tier now um, for the Clean Marina certification. And so, Menor Harbor Yachting Club achieved platinum level on their first try. Uh, so we want to give a big congrats and a, and a good pat on the back for that. Um, they are only one of three 
platinum level Ohio clean marinas in the state of Ohio. So it's certainly uh, an achievement. Cecilia Dewar and her members and team that she has at Manor Harbor Yachting Club uh, excelled in the certification. They are a great example of a recreational boating facility that not only adopted the environmental best management practices that are a part of our core clean marina program certification, um, items on stormwater, marine debris, recycling and waste management, but they are a very good example of um, really taking and running with some of our newer parts of our uh, tiered program, which are involving uh, boater outreach and community engagement. Uh, the members and, and team at Menor Harbor Yachting Club not only work with youth, novice boaters and experienced boaters on safe boating educational efforts, but uh, in adopting clean marina program status, they are now incorporating clean boating um, and, and environmentally sustainable efforts into their uh, boating education programs that they have both um, at the Yachting Club and in through community partnerships. So we want to uh, give some time to, I believe, either Cecilia Dewar or John Dewar, who may be on, um, if you'd like to make a few comments. But please, everyone, join me in congratulating our Platinum Level Ohio Clean Marina from 2020 Menor Harbor Yachting Club. Thanks, Sarah. Um, I think John, John is on, um, on as well. But I just want to say a really quick thank you to you and to um, Paul and to Jill. Um, and Heather, you just made this experience so rewarding and you've been so incredibly helpful um, over the last two years while we were in the process of um, achieving this incredible um, level. We're really proud of the team here at Mentor. Um, but I'm going to turn it over to John Dewar, who is a member of the board and also responsible for the membership committee there, if he can hear us. Sure. Let me see if I can make sure John can speak. All right, John, yeah. I think you're unmuted. All right. Uh, thanks for having us today. We are very excited at the club to um, be part of the uh, Clean Marina program. Uh, we spent a lot of time uh, teaching all of our dock hands, all of our harbor crew, um, the, the proper way to handle anything from marina debris to spills at the gas dock. Um, so there's a lot of time that goes in the spring into training all of our employees here at the club. Um, on top of that, just the excitement by our members on, alone in achieving this, uh, this platinum level uh, has made a, a, quite a buzz at the club. Uh, it's kind of a nice uh, feather in your cap to be able to tell uh, fellow boaters that we have a facility of this um, magnitude that uh, we can tout. And when we go to other clubs and other clubs come to see us and they sort of know that when you come to somewhere that has achieved that level, of uh, status through this program that they know when they pull in the place should be spotless and they should have no problem with uh, pulling up to a gas dock or any type of um, haul out and repair, um, pressure washing, making sure we're doing everything we can to you know, not fill the lake with unwanted uh, things. So we're very excited to be part of the program and we really appreciate everything that, that you guys have done. Thank you, John, and thank you, Cecilia. Sean, you make a really good point. Um, you should absolutely yeah. brag that you're a clean marina. <laughs> and I'm, I'm addressing any other certified clean marinas that are on the call. Um, we hope that by becoming certified, um, you do take pride in it. And by all means, uh, we, we say brag about it. Um, talk about you know the hard work that you've done and certainly share that with your, your boaters, your community members, because you deserve to be proud of the hard work and, and get rewarded for that. Hopefully, you know, like you said, boaters recognizing that, supporting you, um, and, and even community members appreciating the work that you've done uh, to kind of be a part of the larger economic community and the environmental impact um, that you can have positively in that community. So thank you. Okay. At this time, 
Um, I want to now recognize what is a new award that we are starting through the Ohio Clean Marinas program, our Clean Marina of the Year Award. Um, so Paul, Heather, and I had some discussion and on this uh, fifth annual conference, um, I mean, we, we've actually been, you know, this Clean Marinas program has been around now for over 15 years. And so uh, we thought it fitting to start an annual Ohio Clean Marina Award of the Year, Ohio Clean Marina of the Year, um, to recognize a marina who has exemplified excellent environmental stewardship, partnership to the program, and or leadership in the environmental sustainability field. And so we had some discussion and honestly, um, it was not hard uh, to choose uh, this first awardee. Uh, Mike and Tom Jr. Solberg of Huron Lagoons and Holiday Harbor Marina are our first ever awardee of our Clean Marina of the Year Award. Um, the Solberg family owns and operates both Huron Lagoons and Holiday Harbor. Uh, Huron Lagoons is, is who the formal award is for, but we do recognize the entire family. Um, Mike was actually a member of the initial Ohio Clean Marina's advisory board that put together our certification checklist in our program. And he has stayed a part of that board to this very day, um, years of service, uh, input and collaboration that has been um, put in by him. And uh, he provides guidance and honest feedback on the direction the program is going. And we really appreciate that. Um, we don't want to simply create checklist items or environmental requirements in a bubble and then put them out into the field with the marina and, sit and have the marina come back and say, well, that's impossible. Um, we certainly want to push our marinas, kind of push the envelope is what I say, and, and encourage the marinas going above and beyond what is required by law. But at the same time, um, we don't want to put them out of business and we want it to be realistic. So Mike is a wonderful partner that we have who helps us in that effort. Huron Lagoons Marina has participated in numerous collaborative research efforts to understand new and innovative uh, environmental sustainability best management practices also. Um, over the years, they've helped us with artificial fish habitat projects, boat wash wastewater management, um, research and, and ground truthing, and uh, most recently, a stormwater and green infrastructure initiative. Um, that is also being done in partnership with Holiday Harbor Marina. Um, so Mike and Tom Jr., um, the Solbergs, have provided significant input and collaboration on these and other projects over the years. Mike is always willing to help brainstorm uh, solutions for a regulatory challenge to help us uh, test out any sort of um, ideas that we may have for either dealing with an environmental uh, regulatory challenge or even um, a new sustainability initiative that we are thinking about adding into our requirements for clean marina certification. And a lot of times those are back of the napkin or on a notepad <laughs> ideas that um, end up, Mike helps us test them out and um, again, provides feedback, always thinking, always learning. Um, to help us continually improve the program. Uh, we want to offer this award as a token of our appreciation for the hard work, dedication, and partnership, true partnership um, that the Solberg family has provided to the Ohio Clean Marinas program over the years. Um, so I believe we have Mike and maybe Tom on here. If you are interested in saying a few words, that's fine. Um, but we just wanna say thank you and um, there's no one we feel is more deserving of this award. So. Mike, if you're interested, I'll ask you to unmute, but it's totally up to you. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of Huron Lagoons Marina, I'd like to thank all the agencies and partners involved in the Ohio Clean Marina program, and especially Sarah Lando, 
who has gone out of her way over the years helping HLM to meet the gold standard. We knew from the inception of the Clean Marina program that we needed to get involved, not only to keep up with the state and federal regulations, but to get involved in order to help guide the policies that could and would affect our everyday business. We all want to be good stewards of the environment, but on the same hand, we do not want to be regulated out of business. So thank you to all the staff and board members of the Ohio Marina program. And on a side note here, congratulations, Cecilia and John, for reaching platinum. Thanks, Mike. All right, well, with that, um, I think, Paul and Heather, correct me if I'm wrong, but that should conclude our uh, 2021 award ceremony recognizing our 2020 awardees.